Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my first look at my wedding stories. I'm going to be doing this in two parts. In the first part, we're going to look at setting up the wedding and going into Tartosa and checking out the shops down there, including the bridal shop. And in the second part, we're going to hold the wedding ceremony itself. To start with, our engaged couple is here and the groom is Rashad Sharma, who is the brother of Jasbender Bida. I had played with the Vitas a long time ago and I ended up creating a brother for her and having him move in. And then recently with the pack coming out and the whole ability to add engaged Sims, I added our engaged Sim, his fiance, Madison, to the save. So they are engaged and they are the two that we're planning on getting married. We shall see how it goes. So let's come here and announce the engagement. So here are some options that you have to say when you're married or getting married, I should say, but we're just gonna announce engagement to start with. And hopefully that happens quickly. And then once we've done that, we're actually going to um, ask about wedding day, see what happens with that, and then ask to be Sim of Honor at the wedding. She is neat, so she's cleaning. <laughs> cleaning when it's not necessary, but she is cleaning. We're going to try and follow them around and see if we can see that. And there we go. Oh, Rashad can't tell. Wait to tell anyone, everyone about his engagement. And let's see, is this the ask about wedding day? <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. We got to move wedding day inspiration from asking about wedding day. So it's a way to get inspired. And I don't also we can now we can enthuse about upcoming wedding. Maybe that was there before. Express doubts. Make a joke. OK, now. I'm guessing we already did that. So let's come over here and ask little Deja to be the ring bearer. So we're going to come in here and ask to be ring bearer. Her sister is going to be hopefully the flower pal. Let's see how this goes. And that's his, her sister right there. Since we missed the other one, but it looks like it actually happened, let's try this. Yeah, it looks like, I think it's a yes. <laughs> From what I can tell, let's try. I'm guessing it is a yes. And let's see, we'll try, since she's right here, we're gonna ask to be flower pal at the wedding. And then we're gonna just try and book the wedding if we can, or maybe we'll do it right now because <laughs> I want to do the wedding tomorrow and I'm not sure if you can book it for the same day. So let's go here and add a wedding event. So there are obviously seven options and including the vow renewal, which is at the top and that's there because we have a married couple in the house. So therefore it's an option for us, but we're going to do the wedding ceremony and our bride and groom are the two that we said, and they're both here, so we can do that. The Sims of Honor, yep, she obviously did say yes. And we don't have anyone for the officiants, but we can't, don't have that. Haven't done that one yet. And then there's the ring bearer, and then we will invite the guests. What I have tried a couple dry runs, if you invite someone who's like, oh, in the wedding, it'll remove them from being that part of the wedding party. So you, it does let you bring more people to the wedding uh, than otherwise you would be able to. So that's one nice thing about it. I think in general, I'm just doing this to show how it works, but I think I'd be more inclined to just book it right away so that it gives you more time to get people to, to do the different roles and stuff leading up to it. But we're gonna do this just so we can see it. So this is the first page. Now the second one is we're gonna select activities. Of course, these are going to be optional. We'll do dancing. We'll do exchange of vows, of course. Walk down the aisle and we can maybe try having toasts there. Okay, and then the next part is the close. So we're gonna do that down in um, the Tartosa in the town there. At least for her and with him, I'll just change his outfit and we don't need to see that. So for the wedding cake, it says after you finish scheduling the wedding ceremony, click on a cake that has been purchased or made and select as cake for a wedding ceremony. And then it can be replaced by writing the same interaction on a different cake. So you're not stuck with that. Now, 
I've been hearing the dress code doesn't work, but we're gonna try it anyways. We're gonna go for polished. And then now we're gonna go to the location and I will set a time just as a temporary thing. We're not gonna do it at our residence. So one of the places you can do it is at residence of anyone coming. The wedding venue lot that is not working yet for base game, which of course it is a base game option or type a lot in base game, but it is working when you have the pack, but and then you have park and you have beach, but you don't have all the other options you get with base game right now. Cause I had a little video when I did an overview of the update and also there's a bug report with the fact that you can't pick the wedding venue. And there were a lot more options. There was like the generic lot and I think a museum and like the lounges and bars, some that I probably would never not, would probably not use normally. <laughs> but the one I normally use is my Shino Meadows, which is a center park type lot and you cannot change the lot type and it's not an option here. So not impressed with that, I have to say. Uh, generally a little bit I've been trying with this. I, I like a few things about the pack, but I don't like that. We no longer have our base game weddings and they took the money off right away. Now, if you cancel the wedding and delete the event, it will not give you your money back. And once I think it hits midnight, I don't think we're going to be able to edit it. We shall see. Let's, uh, let's see if we are able to get her. Did we already ask? Mm. Anyways. Also, when we go into Tartosa tomorrow, we'll take a look and see if we can edit it because that's really all that matters. So I'll be back when we're taking a look at the new world. It's the next morning and we're going to go to Tartosa. So this is the neighborhood we're going to go to for checking out the little shops and stuff or the kiosks. It's Porto Luminoso and then the other world where the wedding venue is right here is up here in Terra. Amorosa. So those are the two neighborhoods that come with the pack and there are nine lots in total. It looks like four are up here and five are down here. Two empty, two starting homes, one rental, two that have families in them, the wedding lot or wedding venue and the lounge. So we're actually going to load in at the lounge and then I will take them down and we will take a quick look at what's down there. Just in case you're curious and you want to get your bearings, the lounge is here. This is like a beachfront area. This is the empty lot. And over here is where the kiosks are for the wedding cake here, the flowers here. And this is where you can go another place. You can try on your uh, wedding clothes, your wedding outfits. And of course there is a place to buy. Um, it seems to be closed because it's not quite 9 a.m. But that's one place where you can buy food. And then the other one is on the other side, which we won't bother looking at right now because they need to all open. So let me get them there and then we'll check them out. First, we're going to take a look at the flower shop. So we're going to come here and we are going to take a look at the flowers that are available because I'm curious. And then we'll buy a wedding bouquet afterwards, which of course, if you do have seasons, you can craft your own wedding bouquet on the flower arranging table. And it uses some flowers with that come with seasons, which you can, you can see here, you can buy flowers that are not just base game because the crocus is season. Chamomile is outdoor retreat just as some examples, but we do not seem to have a death flower here, but there's still a lot to choose from. And I don't know, I'm curious whether, I can't remember all the flowers off the top of my head because there's quite a lot that come with um, seasons. So I'm not sure if I'm seeing all of them here or not. Uh, it may be that I am. So we'll buy one flower and then let's take a look at the wedding bouquet, which is probably the more interesting part. So we have, you know, some variety and I think, let's see, uh, maybe we'll get this one here and there. We'll get that. And then those should both go automatically into her inventory. There's that crocus. We already have some things and there's the bouquet. 
And did we, let's, why don't we do a friendly introduction? And we'll also have Rashad do an introduction. Now, one thing I noticed is right after midnight, I could still edit the wedding. So let's see if I can do it now. I still can. So I think if it gets too close to the wedding ceremony, because I've tried playing through at a different, I couldn't edit it anymore. So I ended up deleting the ceremony and just starting again, which you, I think I may have said, you may, you lose your money. Uh, yeah. And so here's one of the vendors for, um, oh, look at this purchase. Here's the wedding cake. So we can purchase our wedding cake, which we already have one. It is in uh, Jasminder's inventory because she has the fresh chef trait. So it never spoils, which I've heard is one issue with the, um, the wedding cakes in general. But we could just come here and order a cake. Let's uh, come over here and do a friendly introduction and try and see the options for the cakes. Oh, well, we can't because he's coming out. <laughs> Oops, so much for that. That did not work how I wanted. So I guess we're not going to see the cakes. <laughs> and he, the, he's come out too. Okay. Well, so here is one of the food vendors where we have... Um, sort of Asian oriental type food, which is increased by the fact that I have city living. So there's a few things like vegetable dumplings, I think egg rolls, uh, sweetened sour eggplant, the pork. And I think this one here, I think those may all be with city living, but they're definitely, I don't think they're base game. And then over here is another stand for food. And it has some base game ones but the bell puri the curry and samosa for sure come with city living i'm not sure about anything else i know the palak paneer is base game um and i think and the butter chicken is also because you can see there designed by ice man man and then this one for some reason i think was already in the game but i'm not it may be one that comes with this pack and that one i don't remember for some reason i thought it was added to and of course here is the city hall where you can just get married right away or there's also a bathroom here i have not tested that and i'm not planning on testing it because that's just not something i feel like doing right now so and the other thing that we are going to do is we're going to take our bride in here and plan her formal outfit so i'll be back when we get there so we're here and we're gonna give her a new hairstyle. I'm actually giving it to her on her every day so that it changes everything. And then after the wedding, I'll just change it back to her, what she had before. And so here are the new hairstyles that we have. And let's put it back on that one. So that's the one I am choosing. So now we're gonna go into this first category, which is where it brought me in. First off, let's take a look at the style looks. There's this one. <laughs> I won't bother turning her because <laughs> she's doing her turn it on her own. There's the second one and the third one. And obviously it comes in variations of colors. So let's actually go here. There's these two tops, which you can see that one and then that one. And then for the bottoms, there's this, which she already has on, which obviously comes in many colors. And then we're going to go to full body because this is where we're actually going to end. So we have one, two, three. So you can just see all the different outfits. Let's actually remove the jewelry for now. The accessories. And I'm going to pick its fall in the game. So I'm going to try and pick something that I think is suitable for fall. I think I might go with I think I'm going to go with this one. She already has shoes on. I'm actually going to go with the short one for a minute so you can see. If she has shoes on that I'm going to change because, of course, they got changed. <laughs> so we have these ones, which I like, but I don't like necessarily for the dress she's going to be wearing. So I will give her a base game shoe when I'm finished. Um, so we'll have her wear this, and then let's take a look up here at her I'm going to just actually get rid of the makeup for now and put something on myself. And let's take a look at the there. 
we're going to use that for a necklace. And then I will just give her a little small earring there. I might actually change the color of the necklace. Give her that red. Okay, so there she is. I am going to put a little bit of makeup back on her, but I'll be back with the second part where we take a look at the actual wedding ceremony and I will also give feedback on what I think about the pack, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. But that's going to be it for this part. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!